Hey everyone, it's Walala Depo here. I'm in my EQC 400. This is Central London low emission areas. That means if you want to drive through this area, you better have a right car or a right van. If you don't, you're going to get fined. So if you have a, a, a petrol or diesel car, you're going to have to pay a low emission rate which is about 15 pound a day so that thanks for the privilege I'm driving an EQC 400 an electric car so I can just drive <laughs> just enjoy the Saturday afternoon lifestyle of the of the people right here in London, it's a different ball game here. Uh, where I come from, from the north of England, we do things slightly different. In this area, you realize that people just chill out at coffee shops. They gather across the coffee shops. There are not a lot of pubs around. So because of that, you could see people on the left just having a good time. And it's just, it's just incredible, you know. We don't usually see these many people together unless it's a funeral or a wedding or, you know, <laughs> or whatever, or something's happening. That's a, that's, a, that's, that's a function going on. But just a normal day, a normal day, nothing is happening. People are just having a, a, a good time. And the multitude is very serene to me absolutely serene but driving through the low emission zone uh, and looking through the windscreen it's beautiful it's a great day it's an afternoon uh, Saturday afternoon the sun is shining um, traffic is is horrendous at some at some point some time but uh, uh, not really not really too bad you've got a lot to look at even while you're waiting you see people, you wonder where they're going, you wonder what, what, what kind of life they have, where they live. And it's not easy to live in London. It's not easy at all to live in London. So people, uh, people compromise a lot for the, you know, the lifestyle, the free lifestyle, uh, which is a lot more interesting than some, you know, areas in England where you know, things are just boring and you know almost lonely for some people uh, but there's a price to pay to live in London everything is expensive housing expensive even transportation so there are trade-offs there are trade-offs but I've actually enjoyed my driving through the low emission central London where usually I would not have come this way if I was driving my <laughs> my Q7 diesel Q Q7, that pollutes the environment a lot more. So absolutely, absolutely interesting. Can you see the sky, the blue sky? Uh, that's amazing. That's amazing. Fantastic. What what sort of environment do you live in? What kind of social community do you have? Uh, leave your comments if you enjoy London if you if you live in another cosmopolitan city uh, tell us tell us your own experience leave your comments and I'm going to be getting back to you fantastic fantastic so driving around London is is precarious uh, I'm sure you know if you're listening to me living in London you know what I'm talking about in West Yorkshire Things are easier, the pace is slower, and there's a sense of community, which we get so you drive as well, because you give people way, people say thank you, you feel better about yourself. But in London, uh, in it's a different yards, ballgame. Turn left onto North Power Street and then turn right. It's a different ballgame. But, you know, it's a lovely experience be there with the driver around and you have to be careful of the bikes. Look at that. 
let us crunch his mind my my EQC 400 you know you know how much that guys <laughs> so um, it's interesting absolutely interesting so what set kind of a what kind of driving experience do you do you experience where you live I'm not gonna get stressed because uh, I'm driving the EQC so the sense of relaxation in this car. You know, honking the arms is something that I never really listen to, never really hear in the north of England because almost nobody uses it unless somebody's about you know there's an accident or something. But when I come to London this is something that I hear often because people get impatient. Um, some some of them get get aggressive. When I was going to conference this morning I saw a man coming off the main road, got out of his car, and he went direct to, directly to the car behind him, and he was having a go at him, just in the, in the middle of the, of the 50 mile an hour, just by the, just by the junction. It's crazy, absolutely crazy. But anyway, I'm not really rushing, I'm just going to see my friend, and hopefully dinner is waiting for him. 